Welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin, where today we're going to be talking about more wool felt applique Christmas ornaments. So this is a book by Buttermilk Basin, and it is called Ornament Extravaganza, 45 Easy to Stitch Designs. And this is just darling. They're the cutest little patterns in here. So I thought I would share this with you and show you how to get started. You can buy this in my Amazon store along with the materials that you need to make these. So if we open up, well, first off, let me talk about Buttermilk Basin is a company that makes quilt patterns. And so this is the takeoff of their wool quilt patterns that they have. So if we open it up, the table of contents, we have all kinds of cute little display ideas. More display ideas. Look how cute these little ornaments are. Then it goes into traceable patterns for what you were just looking at. Some are very large in design. Some are smaller. It shows you the stitches you could use if you wanted to. Like here we have a feather stitch, French knot, straight stitch, buttonhole stitch, some little stockings. So I think it is a, just a great book. I love this right here. They took this wreath and then they made some handmade felt ornaments to hang on the wreath. And it just looks so inviting and so homey. So I thought I would share this pattern with you right here for this great big huge yellow ornament, gold ornament that they show in the middle of the wreath. Look how cute that is. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need some wool felt. Here's the gold piece of wool felt that I'm going to be using. I have a little container that I keep wool felt in and I purchased all this off of Amazon. Um, this is the section of fall colors, but you can also buy winter colors. These are not very big sheets, but you know, in all reality, you're not going to need probably a whole lot. So you need that. You need some good scissors. I like these Guggenheim scissors. You will need uh, DMC embroidery floss to do the buttonhole stitch around the ornaments. And you'll need something uh, needle and something to trace the pattern with. I just use Dollar General Store tissue paper, okay? So I'm gonna move the camera to my hands now. Got my sewing machine on the floor. Everything's kind of a wreck around here. I need to do a tidy up. Okay, so you're gonna take your tissue paper. And put it over the ornament in question. This is called Butterscotch Drop. What a cute name. So here's the actual ornament itself. Then we also have a crown to trace that goes on top. And we have a holly leaf. If you so wish to put that on there. I don't know if I put that on there or not. And then they have, just for detail, they have a little white piece here that would just be the, um, the shine of the ornament, just to give it dimension. So now you're going to switch over to your paper scissors.
Okay, we trace that out. All right, and then once you trace it out, you're going to pin it to your background square. And I, the reason I just doubled that and used two is because when you uh, buttonhole stitch around it, it makes it thicker and it makes it stand up on its own without um, wrinkling or falling over. Okay, now we're going to switch over to our Guggenheim shears, which cut through anything. Okay, then our first ornament is cut out. Now what you would do is you would take three strands of embroidery floss and you would buttonhole stitch all the way around this and then add the additional pieces on. And I showed you how to do that in the last video, which was how to make sugar cookie ornaments using, whoop, my bag's turned upside down on me using old-fashioned cookie cutters like these. Okay, so it's going to be the same exact method. It's just that in this particular book, the designs are more detailed and they're much larger than a sugar cookie. Okay, so let's look at some of these other designs before we go. Cute little gingerbread men, gingerbread girl, candy cane. These are very sizable. But they're yet, they're large, but they're not so large to where they won't fit on the wool, wool felt that you get on Amazon. They will fit on those sheets. This is sweet. Look at these little farm animals. My grandsons would love that. Here's what the farm animals look like finished. Some tags for packages or bookmarks. More on fancy embroidery stitches. Cute little Santa. I wonder why they made it 45 and not 50. I thought that was kind of strange. Here's some really cute ones that they applique onto a uh, quilt square. It's either five and a half or six inch qu quilt square. It gives you the directions for that. Some cute little snowmen. Ooh. Some tartan plaid ornaments, which are always adorable. Some little tags. Okay, and then it, it gives you suggestions for how to stitch them. So, all in all, if you are interested in this design, you can buy it in my online Amazon store, Cottage Designs by Erin. I will, uh, the link is always in my description box, but I will, will make sure that I post it, tag it in this video. And again, you will just need your wool felt, some pins, some embroidery floss, some needles, scissors, and then you will just hand stitch these. They, they're ideal for gifts and display. I hope you learned something from my video. I hope you like thumbing through the book. Please stop back by for more ideas in the future. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you.